Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today we are getting experimental in Cura. So my wife just got some new plants, and she wanted some little pot holders for them, and I figured why not 3D print some for her. And I thought this is a really good opportunity to show you one of those little settings that's been in Cura for quite some time now, but not a lot of people use it and that is fuzzy skin. Fuzzy skin can be amazing to use in certain circumstances, I will say that. But I thought I would go through and show you what it does, how to use it, and the results that it actually gives. So let's jump over to Cura and I will show you how to make plastic look fuzzy. So before we get started, I just wanted you to see what version I'm running. I am in Cura 5.5, so if you are on an older version, it's time to update, and if you are on a newer version, well, you must be watching this in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and now let's go ahead and bring in the model. So I went ahead and just drug this in here, and I'm actually going to be printing on my longer LK4X. and. I've got different profiles and I'm just going to be using this one. Now the cool thing about this model is it's knitted and for that I was going to make it a fuzzy skin. So I thought this is a great opportunity for me to show you guys this feature. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the experimental mode. And if you see here on the right there is no experimental. And if you don't see it all you have to do is click on the little hamburger icon right here and you can click on all then you can see a bunch of other things pop up, including experimental. So let's just click on the arrow to drop down the experimental and we are going to see right here, fuzzy skin. And all we have to do is come down here to fuzzy skin and click this. Now this is a really an amazing feature because it is actually going to add a jitter to all of the lines that it makes and this is going to make this look even better because it's going to have a little bit of a fuzzy texture to it because if we zoom in here we can just see you can see all the poly count here but it's all smooth and when we use fuzzy it's going to give us this nice little fuzzy texture so let's go ahead and slice this so I can show you what it's going to look like okay so it's done slicing and if we go over to preview we can see that this looks like a mess on the edges and that's exactly what we want you can see all of the little jitters because it is basically just kind of going back and forth along the exterior lines of the actual model and one thing to note here if you see on the inside it's actually doing the exact same thing so the inside of this model was actually smooth, but I thought it would be kind of cool if you ever see the inside, it's going to have a jitter as well. Now, one thing I will say when it comes to the speed of this, I don't like to go very fast when I'm using the fuzzy skin because it's going back and forth and you can get some mess ups. If you have it slowed down just a little bit, it's going to work a lot better for you. So if you look right here, my wall speed is actually at 40 millimeters a second. And that is pretty slow because I'm usually around 60 to 75. But anything else, I've got it for my infill speed, I've got it 80 millimeters a second. So I'm trying to make up for it as much as I can. But I want to be able to get the best quality possible. And I'm also just printing this on my longer. It's not a wicked fast printer, but it's very reliable and it gives me beautifully clean prints. So that's why I'm going a little slower. Now if we scroll down here to fuzzy skin, underneath it, once you check this, it says fuzzy skin outside only. And let me bring in another model just to show you what exactly what that does. Okay, so we got this really cool like pen cup that I found and I'm going to go ahead and make it a fuzzy skin, but also on the outside only. So let's go ahead and click that and I'm going to slice that for you and show you what that does. Alright, so that's done slicing. Now if we go into our preview mode, we can see right here on the outside it's going to give me this cool little texture, but on the inside you can see how beautifully smooth it is. And it's literally just that simple. It's fuzzy skin on the outside only. 
So it's only giving it to me on the outside. Now you might be wondering, why would I want to be printing fuzzy skin on anything else? Like, yeah, okay, here's a model and we've got a little bit of a fuzzy skin. I will tell you this. It's not one of those things that you use all the time, but there are certain circumstances when you use this, it just, it brings something extra to your model. So first, I will say that it hides your layer lines a whole lot better when everything's just kind of like a textured mess. And it just works. And the other thing is, there are some times where I'm printing things for, say, my tabletop games and I have some terrain, and the terrain just doesn't have a lot going on with it. Maybe there's some rocks or like a grassy hill. Then I will actually use fuzzy skin, and it will give me a lot more texture on that 3D model. And that way, when I'm painting it and doing some dry brushing, it will give me an amazing result. I think this is one of those settings in Cura that people just don't use that often, and I think it's because they forget about it or just don't know about it. So I've brought back my knitted flower pot and got it all sliced and ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this to my SD card and jump over to my longer and hit print on this guy, and we will see the final results. And here are the final results. So you can see like how good this looks. It looks like it's actually made of yarn. And I don't have to paint this, I don't have to do anything. It just looks good as is. So this is a really fun setting to play with and I really encourage you to try this on a model. Now the one thing I will say, it takes a long time to slice it because of the amount of processing for every single layer and to give that jitter. So just be warned at that. That's one thing I did not tell you. Now I also printed this normally without fuzzy skin and you can see the comparison of which one looks really good. Now personally, I think the fuzzy skin looks a lot better in comparison to the one that is not fuzzy skin. And I think just because it gives that little bit of texture and it, that little character to the model. So the only thing I'm going to say is I encourage you to try out this setting and kind of play with it because sometimes it will just make your model look that much better. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes it's going to make your model look terrible. But knowing this I feel like will help you in the future when it comes to knowing the different settings and different features in Cura. So I know this was a short little Cura tutorial, but I just thought fuzzy skin it deserves its own video because it's a cool feature and I really encourage you guys to use this feature just on something to just see the results that you get with it. And then you have a good understanding of like next time you have a model, you're like, hmm, maybe that should be fuzzy. I never thought I would say that, but yeah. And also I wanted to let you know that I have just created a free Cura 3D printing checklist. And this is just some one of those things that you can print off and you can use it to help you, to make sure that you didn't miss any of those little settings here or there in Cura. It also has a nice reference sheet for you on some of the 3D printing terms if you're new to 3D printing. And I'll go ahead and put a link to that down below for you so you can download that for free. And that's it. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you over here in this next video.